Peggy 16. Hey, dead man. Some trip, huh? Thought I'd gone? So, James, how did you end up getting the role of Prophet in Crisis? Wow, that's an interesting story. I think I remember uh, being at my agent's uh, back in Chicago. This was maybe 2006 or 2007. Um, and I, I think I'd done one video game before stateside, but nothing significant. They called me in to, to read a few lines, and uh, I was so excited to kind of get the call. And I didn't really know uh, much about Crytek or about video, you know, game playing anyway. Um, but it was kind of a neat experience. I mean, I do a lot of voiceover work, and so it was kind of a great opportunity to kind of try something different. And uh, do you find that it's a, a different challenge to doing TV? I think so. Um, you know, um, and, and voiceover in general is, is, a, is, is a different animal from TV, which is a different animal from theater, and I've been kind of lucky to do all three of those things at various stages of my career. Uh, but the idea of uh, giving voice to this, this uh, superhuman sort of being, you know, in a video game, is actually kind of fun. You know, you, you take more liberties as far as your voice is concerned, knowing that they're gonna do kind of fun things in post anyway. And so you have a little bit more fun. You know, I've, I've really enjoyed doing video games, as a matter of fact. And when you do the voice of Profit, you do lower it down a bit, don't you? You sort of go really I deep do. down I do, you there. know, it goes down just a bit more than, you know, uh, you know than, than I would normally uh, uh, speak, you know, yeah. uh, just talking to friends or what have you. So I come in with this kind of darker voice and then they do other things to it. They used to call me Profit. Remember me. Now, in Crisis 3, uh, it's not just voiceover and it's not just facial capture separately. You're doing full performance here. So, uh, how are you finding that? It feels like performance. You know, you've got the camera on, so there's a bit of a, a TV aspect to it um, that's familiar in that, in that way. Um, but the idea that we're actually performing this uh, gives it a certain weight, a certain emotional gravity that it wouldn't have if we were just in the studio. So, um, you know, it's, it's actually helping me, I'm actually using different muscles from other disciplines that I've worked in in the past, uh, and that helps me uh, form this character in that performance space. Now, not being a gamer yourself, you may not play through the Crisis games. So how do you take your direction from the director in terms of your motivation for the character of Prophet? Uh, a lot of it is actually written very well into the script uh, that we study before we even come in. Um, and so you're learning more about your character and learning more about Prophet and how he stands in relation to these other characters in the room. He's a very strong, um, uh, upstanding um, man with a tortured soul, I guess, but, you know, he's a military man at heart. You know, a very strong uh, military fellow who tries not to get, um, you know, swayed as much by his emotions in a scene. But, you know, once in a while, on the occasional scene that we do, you'll see a bit of his uh, uh, humanity kind of bubble to the surface. Before we go, can you just give me one more prophet voice? One more profit voice. I've had a wonderful time with this interview, and I do hope that we get to do this again sometime soon. <laughs> they call me Prophet.